Hey friends, my name is Panapax. Welcome to another Destiny 2 map. Destiny 2 map gameplay. Uh, live gameplay commentary. We're on Retribution Clash. We're using Bottom Tree Night Stalker with Mobius Quiver, Vigilant Swing, Techian Force, and Zenobia D. Uh, we'll talk about this as the gameplay progresses. But Vigilant Swing is a five round burst uh, pulse rifle. And much like Go Figure and wrong side of right. It has a very um, unforgiving time to kill being two full bursts. Crimson, okay, you don't see that very often. We've also got a Techian Force with a Range Finder and Threat Detector. We're gonna use that as kind of a CQC weapon. pull it out here. It does have threat detector so I can kind of see if people are getting close but for long range we're gonna be using vigilance wing. Uh, I wasn't looking there. So as I was saying about the vigilance wing it has a very unforgiving time to kill. It kills in two bursts which is very fast. There's harsh truths which means we should get health regeneration. I think we also got tagged at the same time. So it does 22 to the head, 5 times 5. Oop. Ah, uh, we should have had the fusion rifle out there. I guess times 10 gives us a 2 burst kill. So the Techian Force. <laughs> it's a decent uh, fusion rifle. The issue is the way fusion rifles are now, it's a five round or five bolt kill. So that means five of the seven shots need to hit in order to kill someone. Alright, we got. We got one of the two. So we're not doing so hot. This map doesn't really promote too much long distance with the, f uh, with the Vigilance Wing. Long range. How about teammate throw that there? There we go. The other issue with so one of the issues that I mentioned before with the Vigilance Wing is it's time to kill. It's unforgiving time to kill. The other issue with it, that's not what I wanted to do. The other issue with it is it has a very poor recoil direction. And because it's a an exotic, you can't put mods on it for a counterbalance mod. Back in year one, you could at least um, have armor perks that would help out with kinetic recoil, but that is not the case. <clears throat> That's not the case now, which is unfortunate. We really can't compete against Luna's house, so we have to make sure that he misses. I thought they were close enough to get that smoke. So with bottom tree storm. Stormfaller. Bottom tree Night Stalker, we have the Invis smoke. So instead of dodging to go invisible, we have to throw our smoke. There's a sentinel shield, I don't know where. Oof, that was rough. No, please don't touch me. Okay. So we traded, which is unfortunate. We should have gotten that first burst. Shouldn't have needed the second burst there. So we're gonna hold on to... Oof, that was rough. We're gonna hold on to our super until someone pops a roaming super, and then hopefully use it as a... Nope, we're gonna use this now. 
<laughs> that was so unfortunate. Not the best use of our super, but I saw three people and was hoping to try and tag them and have teammates clean up. So the thought was there. The execution was poor. Put in shots to that guy. Grab ammo. Oh, that's not what we wanted to see. We did get him, though. Put in enough damage. Daybreak. So now would have been a perfect time to use this preemptively. Throw it there, so that he would walk into it. Not bad. Reload this quick. Spectral Blades is pushing in. Back up. Throw that there. Ah, uh, Spectral Blades. I kind of tunnel visioned onto the smash in front of us. Let's throw that there, give the teammates invisible. Oh, he's still in. So we had good thought process, didn't do too well in the execution, but it's okay. Behind this. He's standing in a rift. Put in damage. Oh, what? Chaperone from... I guess Chaperone should kill him at a distance. If I was tagged. I just didn't think he had an angle on me there. Sure, right? Hammerhead. So there wasn't really much we could do against that. Hammerhead has a better time to kill than Vigilance Wing. So we're not doing too hot with this loadout. Um, I guess I should say there's a friend of mine who is also doing this challenge which, with me. His name is Sir Stallion, I'll leave his links in the description. Run, I got your cover. Enemy? Friendly. That's enemy. Can we grab the... whoops? Oh my gosh. Now he's gonna be behind us. Yep, there he is. So Sir Stallion is also doing this. He was also on this map with Control instead of Clash. Oh, that was a poor grenade there. Let me grab those orbs, actually. I do want them for another super. Because they're not slaying out as hard as I want. So we basically stopped that Dawn Blade from coming in, which is what we want. We're gonna have to make space. This guy behind us, we're gonna run. Jump high. Alright, not bad. I was trying to get more bolts on, on him before he, he killed me. Slide up. Shut him down. Another guy. Nice. So the catalyst for Vigilance Wing, let's talk about that really quick, gives it full auto. I would like to see a better perk over full auto. Where is he? Hey oh, we got it. Um which isn't bad for a five bolt Per five, five burst pulse. Words are hard. Um, the issue that it does have, block that off, is just the time to kill in general. Because right now it's sub one second, and if you miss even just a couple bullets, the time to kill on this gun goes way up. 
Tekken Force, I'd like to see it become a consistent 5 five bolt. Because right now it just is completely outshined by... by things like the Ar Aaron's Hill. They're just so much better. Alright, I don't think we're gonna find anyone else. So we didn't do terrible. This map doesn't help us. Didn't help us at all. But... 21 with 1.4. Go on a little bit of a streak. So, kind of talked about why, uh, what I would like to see to the Tekken. Vigilance Wing, I think, is actually in a good spot right now because it rewards precision. The issue is it's just very unforgiving. Two, two bursting someone is very uncommon, especially on console. We did our best. Uh, bottom Tree Night Stalker is getting a buff in damage resistance, which is nice. I would like to see the Shadow Shots um, adhere and stick someone a little bit better. The lockdown is okay, increasing your grenade and smoke effects, or just grenade effects. Um, D1 had grenade and smoke. Heart of the pack is much more of a PvE perk, and vanish and smoke, it's okay. Going invisible in PvP isn't as helpful. It might break tracking, but even then, your opponent can still see where you're going, so you have to kind of do it preemptively. Other than that, I will leave Stallion's links in the description below, uh, and with that, we're all done. Have a good day.